Rich Harris and the Boomerang Man. Welcome to my home. I've got a really exciting box to show you. Just the other day, one of my customers wrote me a letter and said he had some boomerangs that he uh, could no longer use. He had retired. He couldn't throw very well, uh, his joints and so forth. And he said, uh, let me give you a list of what I have and what will you offer for these? So I looked at his list of boomerangs and I said, well, I'll make X dollars. And he sent them to me. He said, they're like new. And uh, I said, well, I won't know anything about them until I see them. They came in just the other day. Unfortunately, I was by myself and I couldn't share the excitement with anybody. When I finished unpacking, and this is Jeffrey, my grandson, Rex's son. You guys remember Rex? Well, this is his little son, Jeffrey. And a little granddaughter in the background. Let her get it. Let's get some family in here while we're at it. This is Rebecca. This is Rex's oldest child. Rex makes boomerang. really good boomerangs. How if you get out of the way. And now y'all have to get out of the way now. Okay, now yeah, it's fine. Come back okay. to <laughs> yes, we, we, we're doing something real important. Okay, now, now you go with your mama. Okay, mama. okay. now y'all go. Let's go. go. Thank you, Mom. thank you, kids. <clears throat> Why are you this? We'll, call, we'll, we'll call that Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Grandfather's Day. Thank you, Rex, and thank you, kids. So I... And, all right, this is a homemade film. They, if they're going to make a little noise in the background, that's fine. And uh, so Rex is coming over the day before this day, and I says, bring your video camera. I want to open this box and show people what an amazing collection this man sent me. He said they were like new. And uh, um, they aren't like new. They're brand new. So Rex, if you'll focus on this collection, you're going to see some boomerangs that have not been seen in 15 or 20 years. This is the box they came in. And this is how the man sent the boomerangs. Each boomerang had its own custom-made sleeve. And actually, he had tied each of these boomerangs with a piece of string. I had undone those. So I had no idea what I was even opening as I opened the boomerangs. Do you want to see this one? No. We'll get another one. He also included four books. Of course, Ben Rue's Many Happy Returns in the hardbound copy. A little wear right there, but certainly mint condition. Herb Smith's book, absolutely mint. I don't think the man even read it. It doesn't look like it. And all of Herb's boomerangs there. And this is long out of print. Here is one of the prizes, the Klutz boomerang book. You remember that? But amazingly, the boomerang is still attached to the book, and the book is in mint condition. There's a Gerhard hook, by the way. So I thought that was quite amazing. I wanted to take real good care of this. One other book that's been long been out of print, and I understand the author would like to have a copy of this, Mick Hansen. This is Mick Hansen's The Boomerang Book, mixed now in Scotland. One of the best of the little books done by Dover Pre Pelican, excuse me, uh, done by uh, Penguin Press. I'll get it right in just a moment. Very nice. It's called a puffin book. Long, long out of print. This was done about 1976, 75, 76. Now let's get to the boomerangs. First off, and I don't have a cover for this, I must have lost it. This is cherry wood. Brand new, as you can see. Can you zoom in on that, Rex? I want to show everybody how, how clean these boomerangs are. Can you see the Flying Trees Limited? Ron Tamblin and Mike Forrester were partners at one time and they made a fine line of boomerangs called Flying Trees. And this is one of those. Beautiful cherry. I have not thrown these. I do not intend to throw these. Now, on the internet, people are asking about Rusty Harding. This is a Rusty Harding Easy Floater. And it has the man's name on the back. All these boomerangs have the man's name on them. But this was made in August 22nd, 1982. Rusty Harding Boomerangs. This is called his Easy Floater. I want to put each one back in its sock as we do this. I have some real surprises in here. No, we'll hold this one just a minute. I know what that is. Here we go. This is actually a Bunny Reed design called the Boomerang Man Contest Hook. Mint, brand new. It has lead weights here and here. This is a boomerang that I bought from Bunny Reed, unfinished, ready to fly, and I decorated and painted them. About a 40 to 45 yard boomerang. 
very good. That's the old four color logo I used to use too. And to cut it. Daughter Rebecca's gonna hold the boomerangs for me as we take. There we go, two right there. Thank you, sweetheart. Uh, now you can imagine, you don't know what's in this, in this neither do I. I do now because I've been holding them. This is a Jeff Lurie. Ooh, that one's so big. Isn't that big? <laughs> Jeff Lurie hook made out of the good coach wood ply. Again, if you look at the tips, it is not, I don't think it's been, this might have been thrown. I can't see any scratches on it. But that was one of the good ones, you know, a good 50 yard boomerang. Okay. And we'll put this right here. Rebecca, thank you. Here is a real treasure. Anybody recognize who that is so far? Not you, Jeffrey. No. Okay. This is a Lauren Hawes Silky Spinner. This is made out of solid, two pieces of wood. It's a lap joint. You can see it says Lauren ha L. Hawes here. Notice the grain of the wood. It's also called lace wood. And the, the grain runs both vertical and horizontal. Again, the beautiful flying boomerang. And I doubt that, uh, like I say, all these boomerangs, I doubt the gentleman threw these. And that's what's amazing, having boomerangs almost 20 years old. Uh, here we go. Now this right here will change a little bit. This is what we would call a natural wood tourist art type boomerang. It's a better grade than what you'd ordinarily find. There's a kangaroo, but I don't think it's a working boomerang. Can you get that pretty good right angle? Angle it more toward me. No, angle. Like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Both sides. Both sides. I'll turn it over. Okay. They're very attractive. Make a nice wall, wall piece. Now, Rebecca, would you help me out just a minute? Would you get those two boomerangs over there in that chair? That's okay. Rebecca's going to get something this minute. And I'll come back to this in just a second. Those two boomerangs right there, sweetheart. That's it. That is Wait. Okay, now, give you an idea of the difference. This is a plywood boomerang. Very well done. Again, it's tourist art, but it's plywood. This came from uh, Duncan McLennan. This is, out of, this is my personal boomerang here at home. It is not for sale, but you can see the, the similarities. This is one of those Greg Nolan boomerangs, and these are done with little dots. This is a very fine boomerang. It was made for me as a gift. He even has his emu totem on the boomerang. Very colorful, but you can see very, vastly the differences. I thought you might find that interesting. Okay, thank you, Rebecca. Okay, we'll put this right over here. Now, ah, Rebecca, you got to move. You got to move, baby. Please. We we'll made video, but you'll appreciate that. Everyone has a little family, and we we'll all have fun. Anybody recognize what this is? Bright red decoration right here. This is. Can you zero in on the logo here? That's Herb Smith's. Jim Boomerangs, Herb A. Smith. Isn't that beautiful? Again, this boomerang looks like it's been unthrown. Zoom in on that, please, Rex. Made by Herb A. Smith of Sussex, England, 1981. Excuse me, 12, 1681. Beautiful condition. Again, unthrown. That was a red Herb used quite a bit. I'm gonna leave this sitting right here because I have one other. This is really the piece. This is the boomerang that Herb showed us in Washington, D.C. in 1976 when he first came to Washington, D.C., the big red. It has five lead weights, one in the center, and the lead corroded through and messed up the decal. That was typical. A lead weight, two lead weights here, two lead weights there. Again, signed in the back, made for the boomerang man, Monroe, Louisiana, by Herb A. Smith, Sussex, England. Beautiful condition. This boomerang should be able to get 90 yards if you know what you're doing. Uh, unfortunately, I'd say it's a sin to throw these boomerangs. They are irreplaceable. They are absolutely definitive records of a famous boomerang maker. Okay.
That was very exciting. And then another maker along about that time was Stick Around. Jim Parker up in Washington, maple plywood, basic boomerang. But this is a great flying boomerang from uh, 1981. Uh, that was the little 15-inch uh, beta. Great little flyer. On the end here, he had blunted the edge of the wing, so when it came back, it would slow down and stop and drop on you. Ah, yep, won't show you that one. Okay. You say, well, I've seen that a million times before. That's Jack Thomas's, or Yacht Thomas, ABS Mark I plastic. Beautiful condition. It looks unthrown. Again, dated uh, 1981. So all these boomerangs are from like 77 to about 81, maybe 82. Uh, this I may keep for myself because this was made by Jean Bertuca. And the newer makers, uh, Jack shoot somebody else. Again, back to Rusty Harding. Guess what this is? You'll never guess. Keep guessing. That is a mini hurricane. Absolutely brand new. Signed in the back. And this is number 137, November 1981. Can you get that, Rex? Let me find it again. It's so small. Yeah. I'll hold it there. I get out of the glare. Oh, chop it on the. Okay, got it. Okay. And this boomerang would get out 35 or so yards. Typically, it's typical of the hurricanes. Old paint. Yeah, it's probably your thing, fish. Oh, oh, here we go. Everybody remember Rusty's concept series of boomerangs? This is a concept 110. A solid piece of wood here, a solid piece of wood there, overlap, pinned with doll sticks, epoxy. What kind of wood is this? Didn't make very many of this kind of wood. This is African Babinga wood. It's uh, signed on the back, 1982, number 88, Vero Beach, Rusty Hardy. A fantastic wood, uh, mint, brand new, unthrown condition, as all these boomerangs are. And we have here, <laughs> this is something you don't see anymore. British bake wood with the alternating colors, strips of wood. I only got them to make one run like that. For some reason or other, they would never make too many. So when you can find a British baked wood like this, you've got a very nice boomerang, very nice looking. Uh, nothing special else, else about it. By the way, these are made in Scotland. Did you know that, Rex? Hmm. They're marketed through England, but they're made in Scotland, actually. Very nice flying boomerangs. Okay. Here we go. zoom in on the, on the hat. This is a Napoleon hat by Rusty Harding, made for Ben Rue's sales purposes. And it's called on the back, Ben Rue's Napoleon hat, 1982. Again, made by Rusty Harding. And only Ben, this is number 256. And only Ben Rue sold this particular boomerang. We're getting there, folks, we're getting there. This is the string <laughs> they tied each one of these with. It's kind of exciting, isn't it, Rex? Mm -hmm. Very uh -huh. nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a sport comeback, the fiberglass boomerang. Now, what's special about 